What's up everyone, it's DB. So I just finished a really long live stream playing Roblox Islands. We were actually, in wait, we were waiting for Roblox Islands to update and so we did a huge drop party and uh, give away a ton of items. Thanks again for everyone for showing up. And in here you can see I've got some bees. So this is part of the bee updates. This is an animal update. And you can see here they got a couple hives here. I don't know how that bee fits in there. He is huge. Here's, here's what they look like. They're really, really cute looking. I want one to follow me around. Look at, he's like yum, 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 yum. He goes up and I don't know how he fits in there. I think he's lying. He's not really in there. He's like, yum, yum, yum. Okay, he likes the blue flowers. We all like the blue flowers. So I've got some honey on me. I got this honeycomb right here, and I'm going to show you. You can actually eat it too. So you can actually eat this. Um, but here's what I'm going to show you the steps on which you do your own. So in order to be able to get bees, you do need to have some flowers. So you need to plant some flowers all around your field here. So I've got a bunch of them already. And I'm trying to check the timing of it. It takes a while for them to spawn. I actually planted a bunch of seeds down here, and I'm hoping to see um, a hive, a beehive show up. The problem is I'm not seeing them. So I think I'm might be actually a certain number of flowers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what causes them to spawn yet, but there's obviously some kind of trigger based on distance and how many flowers are nearby. I, I did hear crocus, they will animate towards these. So I have these ha down here. This doesn't mean they're actually gonna spawn because these are here. These are just for animation purposes. But so these aren't gonna matter. Um, these are just, again, for de decor, but the flowers themselves are what matters. And I have a feeling you probably need about eight flowers to 10 flowers. So we only have um, seven down here, but we're gonna see if they do spawn with the, but we are going to see if they spawn with the seven that we have. Otherwise, I'm going to I'm going to keep deploying more seeds. But in the meantime, I've got a bunch up here that I can show you. The one thing I'll tell you is there's actually a collision on these things right now. So if you're holding them and you're trying to go through stuff, you're going to like get blocked. Look, like it kind of blocks you. They might patch that, but right now, if you have it out, it's you're going to collide a lot on things. See how that's like I can't get through stuff. So you might actually be able to do some interesting things based on that collision being on. All right, so let's go down here and show you my little honey area. So again, I've got all my bees floating around here. Um, the way you harvest them is you just hover over the beehive, just like you would with fruit tree, right? So if you had a fruit tree, you just hover over that and then you click um, F on it to harvest because they're ready, right? It takes a little while for them to be ready. So I just got some more honey. So you can see how much honey I have. So I have 16 honey on me right now. And if you come over here, you can see the honey press, right? So the honey press is for making, it's like a honey, um, it's a honey jar. So you can, if you go like that and you wait a few seconds, you can go back and you'll see it turns into a jar of honey. And what you can do with that is, you can make stuff. So I'm going to show you in a tier three, I guess it requires a tier three is what I'm told by one of the mods. And you can see here, you can actually make like a honey block. Um, so I've got enough to make one honey block. So I'm going to go and craft that. You can also make a block of honey, which does require four jars of honey. So I'm going to go ahead and go and make four jars of honey real quick. And it only requires a jar of honey is essentially an equivalent of one honeycomb. Whereas a honeycomb block requires four honeycomb. So you don't, so you can't make honeycomb blocks out of jars of honey. You make honey blocks out of jars of honey. So this is the raw form. Form. It's kind of got like the webbing look. So you could probably try putting that behind your, um, if you had a bunch of those, you could put that behind your portal for a pretty cool looking pattern. And then in here, I've got another jar of honey. I'm going to make one more, but I'll show you what that looks like if you put it behind your, if you put it behind your portal. So I'm going to go ahead and farm that real quick. I wonder how many block, I wonder how many hits it requires. Yeah, it's pretty strong too. It doesn't, it's not, it's not a one hit with gilded. It's pretty strong. All right, let's take that jar of honey and let's go ahead and make that honey block. We got the honey block here, craft. All right. So we got yet another, oh dude, it's almost like kind of translucent. Look at, it's almost like a transparent block, dude. Dude, that's really cool looking. It's almost like a foggy glass like type thing. That's interesting. I wonder if you could put lights behind it. I wonder if I could put a light behind it. Let's see. I don't know. Let me know if you've done something really cool with the honey blocks. I'm curious. So it looks like those are pretty strong as well. So those are two hits. So that is what you do with the honey press. And then on top of that, you can actually make some cool stuff with the food processor. You can make a lot of new um, ingredients. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second here. And I still don't see any bees here. So we're going to go ahead and try that theory of spawning some more flowers here. All right. So I just harvested a bunch of flowers. Let's go plant some and see if we can spawn some hives. I'm curious what the number is. I'm curious what the magic number is. All right, so I planted a bunch more seeds. Let's go ahead and get rid of this crocus because I think it's going to be a little distracting. Oops, didn't mean to harvest my flower there. All right, so once those fully grow, we'll see how they work out. And then I wanted to check out, I want to see what these this pattern looks like behind the portal. I think it would look really cool because it has kind of like a webby look, almost like a Spider-Man print because the honeycomb look. And I think it might look really neat. Let's see, Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Look at it. It's got like almost a scale. It's almost like a dragon scale. It's like a dragon scale. It's neat. I wonder if I can get it any closer. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't. That's going to look really, really cool. I wonder if you can uh, put it behind like tinted stuff. Let's see. Let's see how it looks if you put it behind tinted glass. I think it might look cooler than our, our ground here. Let's see. Let's put it behind here and let's put some glass in or some red glass. Mm, it looks a little weird. I think it looks a little weird. Maybe with yellow, maybe with a different color, maybe like yellow glass. Try that. It just looks honey like. I don't know. Oh, you know, what? actually, it kind of looks like lava right now. I think if you're running by it, I would think it's lava. Kind of has that lava look right now. 
now. You see, even with the red, if you were running by and you saw that with the red, I would think it's lava. That looks kind of neat. What do you think? What do you think um, it's, it looks like? Let me know what you think in comments. How do you, does it look like honey or does it look like scales or what does it look like to you? Does it look like lava? All right, three honeycomb, three honeycomb. Oh, they're sleeping in there. Look at it, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. Hey, no Z's for you. Sleeping bees. How dare you? How dare you sleep? All right, that's fine. You can sleep. I will make honey jars. So I wonder what this looks like. Actually, I'm gonna try one more thing. I just had an idea. I just had an idea using like um, the actual honey, like the honey block with the honeycomb. So if you do this and then you put the honey block on top of it, no wonder how interesting it would that look good. I don't think so. I mean, it definitely gives it texture, but it doesn't give it enough texture to justify that. I wonder how this will look for like, let's try that in front of our portal. I want to try some uh, more honey. Um, I want to do some more honey blocks. So to make a honey press, you can go to your, uh, you can go to your tier three. I think, it, I think you could do this on a tier two as well. I'm not sure you'll have to double check, but you can convert honeycombs into delicious honey. So here it does require 50 iron and it also requires 30 birch wood. And I only, I was only able to make one because I actually used all my iron recently to make a bunch of blocks for someone, but I, I could probably make a bunch of birch wood pretty easily here. I just won't have the iron and I could just, I just need to set up my smelters and start autoing. So let's see how much do I need? I just need four, I think. All right, let's go check out this jar of honey with the portal. And we can also try it with the sea. I want to see it with a sea lantern too. So if we use a sea lantern like that, it doesn't really do anything. It kind of mutes it. Same for that. That kind of gets muted. So let's try it behind it. It doesn't really do anything. It just looks like it flattens it out. So nothing yet on these. I'm curious if you find anything. I'd love to see them. It would, wow. It does kind of make that gold. It does look like gold blocks. That reflects, that reflects really, really well. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So do we have a hive yet? We do not have a hive yet. So I need to dig into this a little bit further and do some experiments. If you find some magic numbers, I'd love to know. I think there might be an island limit. I have a feeling there's a two hive limit. Okay. I did confirm there is a two hive limit per island. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hop back up and I'm going to chop down one of these poor little baby hives. I'm sorry, little bees. I just want to prove something. I just want to show that there is a two hive limit. So, and I'm going to, I'm going to redo the flowers as well. So I'm going to go and cut this guy down. Bye bees. They're like, no TV. Look at, he's like, I hate you. He's like, I don't like you because you bullied me, DV. You bullied me. So I'm going to take down your tower. No, dude, you're really small. You can't take my tower out. It's okay. He's like, I am bigger than your tower. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to hop down and we're going to try this out. We're going to see if we can spawn one of these. I got to get rid of the, all these flowers first, get all these out and see how many it takes to spawn a new one. So let's go ahead and get one of these and some of those and see if there's any others. Yeah, I think we only, we only have three seeds rip after all that. All right. So let's put one seed there. <laughs> Let's put one seed there. Bring the flowers, please. Oh, wait. You know what? It grew up there. Look at it. It grew on my other tree up there. Dang it. Oh, well. So much for that. <laughs> so much for that. I was going to prove the second hive, and then it just grows on the tree right next to the other ones. I look up, and I see a big yellow hive. They're like, ah, we fooled you, DV. You thought you could do... You thought you could juke us, our hive? Yeah, dude. I was trying to take away your hive. You had to put one right there. What a big mess. What a big mess you made. So the distance is actually pretty far. It can actually handle pretty far distances if you think about it. I mean, that's that's pretty far from these. Actually, I'm surprised. I want that number. I want to know how many flowers does it take to grow another beehive? So that's useful information. So if you're like a new player and you don't have that many flowers, I want to know if you're how many it takes. Okay, so I've got one flower here. Are we going to get another beehive? Let's see. It looks like things are, it looks like flowers are naturally growing here too. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and plant another one to see if it pops it. So it doesn't look like two is going to spawn it. I'm still waiting, but it doesn't look like it's going to be two. So it's not three flowers. Let's try four. Let's try four. All right, so we've given it some time. Four is not the magic number. Let's go five. Let's go five. Okay, we have six flowers and nothing's spawning. Nothing's spawning. So let's go ahead and drop another one of these. See if it spawns six. Six might be the magic number here. All right, so no hives. I'm gonna go ahead and pop another seed here. We'll pop a couple. We'll pop two more. Two more seeds. Will this do it? That is the question. Will this do it? If this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. It's a lot of seeds here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight's gotta be the magic number. If it requires 10, wow, big bully. Big bully, but this should be plenty. I think it's eight. I'm surprised it's not six, to be honest. I mean, I think six would be the right number. All right, we popped another flower, and the other one's about to pop. Pop, pop. Come on. All right, two popped. So we're now at eight. We're going to give it a little moment again and wait. Wait it out. Wait it out. All right, so I'm going to plant a couple more seeds here. So this will make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're at nine right now and still no. Wow. No hive. For birch. So I've been waiting for a while. It looks like there is a two hive limit in your island. And I already, I, I took down my other hive and then I planted a bunch of seeds down here for flowers to see if I can get another hive to spawn, but nothing spawned for quite some time. So I think there might be a lot of time for us to be able to get a hive. 
Um, I'm just kind of waiting around. I'm waiting around for another hive. I think there's something else that triggers it maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm going to continue testing this. Um, let me know if you know the numbers. So like how, what's the minimum count of flowers? And how long before you can get in a second hive? Because I, I don't have one. And from what I understand, there is a maximum of six bees on your island. So maximum of six um, on your islands. Oh, they got some bees. Look at it. So they only have one flower. See here, they only have one flower and they've got a they've got a bee. Where's their other flowers? There's another flower over there. So that's two. So I think it's a global, I think it's a global uh, island flower count. I actually don't think this has anything to do with distance because that, that's only one right there. I think there's actually a timer. I don't think there's like a minimum here because we have plenty of flowers on our server. So I think it's actually global based on their flowers. Um, I actually think it's a global. Anyway, so let's go ahead and hop over to what you can make with the new ingredients. So there's some new recipes you can use. So here you can see you've got a roasted carrot, honey carrot. And I don't know if I have any carrots on me. I don't think I do. I think all my carrots are gone. Let me check. Let's see. Let's see, do I have any carrots on me? No, I don't. So you can actually make a roasted carrot though. And I believe you just use the furnace for that. Just like um, drying your grass and stuff. I'm assuming you just use the furnace or you need to use the oven. But um, you can pretty much roast a carrot. And then it's probably the oven. It could be the oven. I mean, roasted, you would think roasted would be a furnace. I'm not really going to make these, so I'm not really caring to check, but that's kind of cool. It looks really, really tasty, though. And then you've got the honey toast. To honey toast, you need bread and a jar of honey, which is really, really cheap. And then you got candy apples. So you got apples and jars of honey. So it gives another reason for you to farm apples. And then you got the lemon puffs. Lemon puffs look really tasty. You got lemon, jar of honey, and bread. And then you got the orange honeycomb, which is orange with honeycomb. So they're really making me hungry. That's all they're doing. That's all they're doing with these updates. So you can see here, you can actually sell the orange honeycomb for 125. That's not bad. And then you can actually still, the star fruit cake's actually still pretty lucrative, 179 a piece. Um, apple pie is still decent. Um, the best one being the berry pie. And then the lastly, before I finish this up, there is something new at the spawn that's kind of just kind of like a little tease of what's coming. You can check it out right here. It is a big like building structure kind of thing. And you can see they're, they're, getting, they're getting ready to build something. They're just putting like, you know, okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a frame here. And my guess is it's like a red barn because you can see the red slats. So it's probably animal related, maybe, I, we don't know. But it might be either animal or maybe a merchant. It could be like an auction house or something, who knows. But I'm really excited to see what they're building, especially now that they've been kind of expanding these areas. And I'm curious if they've added any other secrets to the game because I don't know, I keep bugging them for more secrets. I keep bugging them for Easter eggs and I'm wondering if they start hiding some stuff in here. Cause they might, they might mess with me a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. But as long as they don't steal my carrot cake anymore, because I do have some carrot cake. I have one carrot cake. If it disappears, I'm going to be very angry. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll see you next time. Let me get some of this. I need some more honey. Give me some more honey. Oh, he doesn't have any more honey up there. Dude. Bullies. Meow.